My uncle's really handsome. But nevertheless, it's been a fucking while to record a FIFA video because my last project, it went just completely down the drain, like my pubes when I shaved them. Decided to make the same wonder of uh, unoriginal question that everyone has in their minds, but in this case, I bring manager Vagina Motorbike to answer you the simple form. Can Luton Town with, with his completely absent squad of championship players, no budget, and, and a stadium that looks like a toilet survive in the English Premier League. In no other sense I'm playing a back four, who do you think I am to play equal with Man City and Liverpool? Am I am I dumb? When a main source of playmaking ability is Robert Snodgrass, makes me stare at my balcony and wanting to chuck off the fucking ninth floor and commit suicide. But is that until I look at the rest of the team and I get even more and more depressed, like I want to drown in my own cup of coffee? Speaking of which, it's 3 a.m. And I, and I have to have a cup of coffee, so, uh, yeah, uh, cover your fucking ears. Oh, too hot, too hot, too fucking hot, Bro, oh, fuck. Also, this video has a forfeit if I don't manage to keep looting in the division. And that being eat uncooked rice right on camera. No, I don't have no self-respect for myself. And I don't have any empathy for any parents that give me any attention to be a good human being. Why be a good human being? It's fucking boring. It's like wanting to be born, but when you die, not want to go to hell. Hell has the coolest people. Why don't you want to go there? Our issues lie deep from within. Not a single player above the rating of 73. And even then is a 34-year-old Winston Reed. We're closely as are far down the... The, the squad we go is more and more pain to my heart. I mean, Henry Lansbury, Cameron Jerome, Barry, Robert Snodgrass, Adebayo. How does this team come up? James Bree, an Aston Villa reject, is the first choice right back. I'm too scared to even look at a ginger, let alone let, let him play on my on my team. The task gets worse when we look at our budget, and it's less than Paul Pogba spends on a hair trim. Listen, even at our finest, we can't even afford Danny Ings. <laughs> What's the fucking point? of this anyway either way i'll do um anything other than my best because my best is just hitting on a potential in my head far far away from anything that can result on something that can turn into reality and if anyone understood that phrase you're a maniac just like me and i want to kiss you and fuck you because you're my soulmate we can't even afford martin fucking dubravka now i'm able to sign cardio bravo from real betis and if anyone would understand fifa basis yeah, great goalkeeper on his day, but if he's 38, in reality he's 80 years old and he's going to crimple every single time he goes to the pitch. Every single second he touch the, touches the pitch, he's going to lose a leg, lose a limb, and his rib cage is going to fall to the ground over the pebbles of bones that constantly fall down his body. By the time the, se the season ends, he'll be dead. But once he conquered the streets of Manchester and then went to the fashion capital of the world that is Milan, conquered the streets of Luton, where the raccoons fuck dogs and use condoms are pretty much a part of every single sidewalk around the county. Nope, just kidding. They, they want too much money. If we were to get that much of a transfer fee in order to buy Zlatan, we would have to let every single habitant of Luton to be homeless. And don't get me wrong, making more of them homeless wouldn't make that much of a difference to the UK's economy, would it? I assume every single one of those habitants are 50 years old. The average daily actions of a, of a person that lives in Luton consists of going to the pub, going to work, complaining about the wife, and spanking the kid. It is official as it can be, bitches. Audio Bravo hands it in a transfer request in Real Betis and comes with his wheelchair to Luton, screaming and begging him why does it his agent ever consider this offer when he was happy with his family in Spain. Imagine just having a call with a treble winning goalkeeper at Barcelona and a former signing in Man City with Pep Guardiola. J just phoning him up, just get him getting your iPhone and then clicking the numbers to say, a, a, a cardio lad, fancy relegation battle with Luton. The most realistic option is just get a Glock himself and shoot the phone out of sheer desperation. So I'm down alone at this option just to see if my only strategy for this gameplay won't be just signing over 38 year olds with hernia, herpes and Alzheimer. But then I'll just come to find that the only options that are to be signed here is the Spanish Joe Weller, someone called Brooklyn and Will Fish. Seriously, one single dream of mine that I never really specified to anyone, obviously, because of how 
British related it is. It's actually visiting Luton for the, for the sake of visiting Luton, but for one single tourist attraction, Luton Airport. I was a massive fan of those EasyJet fucking programs that Will and E used to react back in the day that they will constantly sit down boomers that miss their flight down to sheer negligence and instead of pining for the cameras to not stop they just they just roll with it and let for amazing clips of any single situation given on that airport my mistake i should have never signed cardio bravo because reese fry comes in with 25 overall everything on him is unstable bar speed <laughs> no 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 even worse, he, he has four star skill moves and five star weak foot, but he's a goalie. Look at his other star. <laughs> what the fuck is this? He has 89 aggression, 88 jumping, 96 strength. What the fuck am I witnessing? Is this the most potent fucking youth academy report I've ever seen in the streets of Luton? But then they made him a goalkeeper. This guy should have been a midfielder, fucking winger, but no, they just chucked him in next because they have no one to do. To do. Oh my god. But what happens if I pass? I'll fry to be a winger. That's to be one. Yeah. See, see, see what happens. Look at this. He gets plus 43 rating. <laughs> nah, yeah, your game is fucked. Your game is Holy shit. No, no, a 68 rating to be a left wing back. What, what happens if he goes more further up the pitch? Put him on left wing 41. But if I put as a, a center back, he gets 46. Honestly, how can someone fuck a position of a player that doesn't exist that much? How can the programming allow this? And actually, a new sign of art is put into the mix with uh, Shada, Shada the Colombian. Handed in with his dreadlocks from Portland Timbers for a combined of 590k plus one of our centre backs in Kai Naismith. Because with the discovery of Reese Fry, the, the fucking moron, it is official to, pro to proclaim we're completely bankrupt. Uh, we just raided the French champions at the time. Signed Jose Font, Euro 2016 winner, but also wheelchair veteran. We'll have that for a result in Vagina Motorbike. We just received Liverpool in, in, in our turf and play them out of the park. Yeah, don't look at the stats, they're just numbers. Hey boss, I know people have been talking about the position you play me in. I just wanted to say I'm ready to do whatever is necessary to make us successful. You see what I'm going with this? Give me a blowjob. I'll put a statue in my fucking uni dorm representing your greatness. Genitalia. I don't care if you're underage. I'll become a pedo just to receive your sensuality. Okay, 17, you might go to jail. Fucking go to jail for this man. This boy brings me the joy that no, no prostitute, no vagina can even accomplish achieving 10%. Every single minute that I fuck a girl, I cannot have the handle of the happiness that this boy brings to my face. <laughs> what are you saying? What are you saying? You bring Arsenal, we go to the Emirates, and we leave with a 3 0 win. It doesn't even look like we're playing five at the back because we're so good up front. One question for you. Are, are you under 10 years old and you believe in Santa Claus? Yeah, yeah he, he, he's not real. If he was real as a creation of Jesus in order to bring the planet a bit of joy around December, then explain this. <laughs> I'm in danger! Officially time to call off the rebuild and just say that this whole experiment is a mess. Robert Snodgrass is injured. Uh, he carried us this far. Let us not be bottom of the league. Uh, I think we're finished off and done. Yeah, but in the FA Cup, we just seem to have no fucking issue demolishing the big teams with four chances out of four, and then we, we just score twice against Spurs. It, it fucking infuriates me to that point with that. We can beat them in the FA Cup, but then translate that to the league, which is the only thing that matters. Not put uncooked rice into my mouth, and then it, it, it revolves to this. Official game without defeat in the league. But to be honest, at this stage, it doesn't fucking matter. Point one point, just one single step back to the fucking cliff. You have to jump it out. I hate everything. You always do it on the cup. It's always on the cup. It's official. We're FA Cup finalists with Luton, but the league. No! The league, you just keep losing every single time!
Mathematics prevail. We are 12 points away from Southampton. We have one game to win, and then the other we have to win, and then the other we have to win, and then the other we have to win. It's a sequence that should never be broken, but at the same time... Um, of course they do it in the FA Cup, the fucking bastards. Well, I'm grabbing the rice. Hey, look, I'm funny, man. I'm gonna eat my own shit. <laughs> Nevertheless, I have an orange bowl here, and I'm cooking rice. <laughs> I'm so, I'm so tired. I sh surely I was conceived in a ditch or or a cave. Let's go. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, yeah. It tastes of nothing, but it breaks my teeth by just. No, you don't play. Think of me, but sometimes, but I don't sound like an absolute, an absolute big guy. Before I have people commenting say this is a waste of food, I got one point for you. Yes, it is a waste of food. <laughs> fuck, fuck this. I'm done.